The Bourne Braves are moving on. 5-1 the final score tonight here at McKeon Park against the Hyannis Harbor Hawks in the win or go home play-in game. I'm Adam Gacken alongside Nathan Schwartz and Cam Mana. And Nathan, today on the mound, it's Ethan McIlvain who gets the start, struggles a little bit, but only gives up one run. And then Griffin Hugus comes in and shuts the door. We'll start with McIlvain. He didn't have his best stuff, but what he was able to do was bear down, not give up a hit in those first three innings. He throws 85 pitches and he he hadn't pitched since the 26th. That's before the All-Star break. So expecting him to come in and give you four or five maybe have been a little too steep of a price. But he w was able to get out of those jams perfectly. And when he exited, it was a tied game at one. And then Griffin Hugus. He's been doing this all year long. Strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. One, two, three inning after one, two, three inning. Five innings. That's his season high here with Bourne. He went five and two-thirds innings actually with Cincinnati this spring. So not a career high for Hugus, but still what a performance. And now he saves Bourne's pitching going into the West Division final. Well, absolutely he does offensively. Ten hits today. The offense that's been playing really well over the last week continued that into the playoffs. And the playoffs are all about big swings and big moments. And you go back to Chris Stanfield's two-run shot with two out. Outs, that was the breaking point. It was a 1-1 game. It was anyone's baseball game, but that one swing, it shifted that momentum, and from that point on, it was really all born with their pitching staff, and that's what it takes here in the postseason. Stanfield has not been hot here of late to end the year, but Every night can be any guy in this order, one through nine. And tonight it was Stanfield. Guys get things together, the consecutive base running, and the 10 hits to get it done. And so it sets up a matchup tomorrow with the Ketuit Kettleers, a squad that Warren struggled with early in the season, but has played really well recently. The first three matchups went to the Kets. The last two have gone to Bourne. Both were at Lowell Park. And the site for tomorrow's game, Lowell Park. This Bourne offense has been mashing the baseball at Lowell Park throughout the summer. They've scored at least seven runs in all three times they've gone there. So I'm excited to see if the bats can stay the same. We don't know who's pitching quite yet, but you got a feeling it could be Tyler Fay. It could be a bunch of different guys. They get the ball for Bourne tomorrow. Well, it should be a very fun one. Weather up in the air, but as it always is. So make sure to stay tuned to our social channels at Bourne Braves. We'll see you tomorrow. Adam Gacken here with Griffin Hugus after Bourne's win over Hyannis to move on to the division finals. Griffin, out of the bullpen, you go five innings. You give up just one hit, no runs. What was working so well for you out there? I mean, I was just trying to let my defense work a lot. I mean, it was just really confidence in my team behind me, letting the guys work. I mean, Merrick made a lot of good plays behind me. When you got a guy like Chase catching, it just makes it really easy for you to just go out there and do your job because you know those guys got you. We saw both starting pitchers, not just for you guys, but also for Hyannis, struggle with control. You got in there and you pounded the strike zone. How important was that? I mean, Ethan did a great job just coming down to the bullpen and just gave me a really good like assessment of the zone. and. I had just a good game plan because Ethan just did such a good job early just to let me know what's going on. Was it at all going through your mind that tomorrow you guys start a three-game series, the pitching might get a little bit you know, difficult for you to go out there and go five innings and make it easy for the rest of the bullpen? I honestly was just hoping that I could bounce back at some point again this week. So like, hopefully we can uh, roll through Katua because we have a great bullpen and we're going to be able to do that. I can bounce back hopefully and, and go in the championship. How excited are you guys to keep the season going? Oh, this is awesome. I mean, it's never been more fun to play baseball than up here in the Cape. So. All right, well, thank you very much, Griffin. Thank you.